Hi guys, welcome again. You are watching a repeat of world videos, and we will be continuing our MySQL. We will be seeing some of the different queries here in this session. So let us start. All right, so let us start again by giving our root password. Fine. Let us quickly select from directors table. Okay, we have to first choose which database we want to work in. All right. And then we select star from uh, movies table. All right, so we have our data here. We have seven entries in directors table and 14 entries in movie table. So what we are gonna learn in this uh, particular session is how to modify or uh, edit something within the table. So let us start. Alright, so in this session we are gonna learn about concat. MySQL concat function is used to concatenate two strings to form a single string. That means you are simply appending an information after an information. So syntax is simple, it goes like this that select concat first string comma second string and so on. The result is that the first string plus second string will be given to you. This plus sign is just for an illustration. It is not visible in the result that we get. So it's simple. When you select concat first string, second string, it gives you simple a single string that is your result here. More about concat will be seen within MySQL. Okay, so moving on to the concepts of MySQL, there may be one or more arguments that are involved. It returns the string that results from concatenating the arguments. It returns a non-binary string if all the arguments that are participating are non-binary strings. It returns a binary string if the arguments include any binary string. If the argument is numeric, in nature, it is converted into its equivalent non-binary string form. And finally, it returns null if any of the argument is null. Alright, so we will see concat function in MySQL. Now what I am going to do is select the first name and last name from directors table okay so this is not the query this is just for description to understand so I am writing select concat in parenthesis I write first name comma in quotes we want we want comma to be in between the first name and the last name so we give comma in quotes then again comma I give last name okay now from which table you want to select it you want to give directors as a table from directors you want to select the first name comma last name with a space in between them so let us see what it returns to us there you go you can see when you run this query as select concat first name last name it gives you the first name comma with a space in between and the last name all right so this is a simple concat function that we have seen 
this concat function is a is an important function because this is how you give an output in the real scenario where you do not want to display something like this to the front user or the end user that you are displaying the information that is in director's table like this so you do not want to display the information or pass on the information to the end user like this so that's why we use concat in the real world scenario where the information will be passed on to the end user in the form of uh, in the form that is something like this okay all right so what if if i want to have my result uh not like this but want to give certain name or certain heading to the result so i give select concat again just a quick tip here if you will press your up key in the keyboard so you will get the queries that are above this line so when i press up key i am getting select from directors when i press again up key so i am getting this query so we need this query but we want to say we want the result as directors name okay so this is the result that we want to have so i press enter there it is it is again giving me the same result but the heading is different okay all right guys so just to save time what i have done here is i have um inserted one entry in a row of directors i have given just the first name as john and you can see from my select query from the directors that in the director id of 8 we have the first name as john but the last name is null because i have not entered anything into the last name why i have done is because i just want to show you something so we select again concat now we want first first name comma in the quotes comma uh, in the quotes comma space comma last name all right so again as i want it to be directors name from directors okay i hope you are getting it first of all i have entered john another entry into directors table and last name i have not entered any value so it is by default null now what we are doing here is again we are running concat query we want first name comma a space and then last name as directors name the result will be given as directors name from directors table okay so right let me first go above and show you what was the previous result that we got in the previous result when there was no john in the directors table we were getting all the seven entries all right now when we have inserted john but no last name only the first name in the directors table when we are again running that concat query same things everything is same only the last entry or the last result is null all right so you may remember in the slides when we were talking about we said that if there is any string as null the whole result will be displayed or given as null 
okay okay so here we are in uh, another concept that we will be learning in this session is substring function as the name suggests it gives a part of your string so say if I want to select a part from this string this entry here as 1001 if I just want to select say first two characters of this string like 10 that is 10 20 30 40 I'll be using this substring function now there are lots of I believe two or three substring functions but uh, it can be used in different ways but we'll be sticking to the basic in this session and uh, let us start with this substring with some of the concept and the definition so my SQL substring returns a specified number of characters from a particular position of a given string alright as we learned if I want to just get the the first two characters of the student ID column I'll use substring the substring function returns a substring with a given length from a string starting at a specific position so if I want to start from the beginning or from the the first character itself or I want to start from the third character that is 0 here alright so I can use substring we'll be examining every form of substring functions uh, in the in the next slides that are coming okay so something more about substring function there are two parts to substring function first is the string and the position okay so the string argument or the string part is the string that you want to extract from the substring the position part is the integer that specifies the starting character of the substring so if I say the position is 2 so it will start from 0 and go until 1 if you leave it as is then it will go till end if you want to specify like 2 comma 3 then it will only take the the second and the third character of the string this we will see more detail in MySQL but uh, let us learn the concepts on this slide so the position can be positive or negative if I say 2 then it will start from the first 0 if I say negative 2 or minus 2 then it will start from the second 0 or the last the third 0 that you are seeing the third character here okay again if I say only 2 then it will start from the second character okay and if I say minus 2 then it will start from the third character so it will it will reverse the axis if you can imagine it and it will start from the second character okay this we will see in uh, MySQL so the position can be positive or negative if the position is positive the substring function extracts the substring from starting of the string and if the position is negative the substring function extracts the substring from the end of the string alright okay so I have for the matter of our understanding given a string here like coding in my SQL okay so I have also given them their numbers like 1 C stands with 1 O stands with 2 and L finally stands with 13 so there are 13 characters in this coding in my SQL okay so let's say if we want to select from coding in my SQL this string only the part that is my SQL so if you will see in the numeric description below my SQL starts from 9 so to get my SQL out of coding in my SQL string the position of the substring must be 9 as following so we give the query as select substring coding in my SQL comma 9 alright so the result will be my SQL 
all right so in the next session we will again continue with our substrings and uh, we'll see a uh, different type of solutions or queries that you can put in through the substrings so stay tuned and uh, i hope that you are enjoying this session thank you